And I'm on the 95 freeway about 15 miles south of Las Vegas. And I'm looking across the freeway, looking west, at a solar energy project. Copper Mountain Solar uh, to be dedicated today on March 18th by the governor of Nevada is uh, the largest photovoltaic field in the United States. Over a million panels make up this facility. This is the Southern California Edison substation just west of Semper Energy's new project. I suppose uh, the new Edison substation, Whirlwind, out at 170th Street, will look something like this when it's finished. Here are the transmission lines headed south from the Edison substation. Now the ground underneath the panels is uh, graded very flat but not a single weed for miles and miles and miles and you can see from the back of the panels that they're resting on an I-beam that's been driven right into the ground and from the back side uh, this is uh, looking south this is what a million solar panels looks like really it's a pretty straightforward construction to put these things together um, and you'll see there's absolutely no uh, shine or no reflection coming off these panels and it's a bright sunny day in fact there's not a cloud in the sky here this is a uh, step one in constructing a facility after the ground of course has been cleared these are pounded into the ground four to eight feet next day step next step will be to set the tables to hold the panel. The last step is to actually set the panels on the tables. I think Nevada should be the leader in the United States in not the world in renewable energy. This is a great start. I think it's going to show an example throughout the country that Nevada is the to be. There are 350 jobs that were created out here in terms of the installation of the facility and then there will be some ongoing jobs. So I think it's a great story to tell for the state. What does a small place like Rosemond uh, interfacing with a giant Fortune 500 company like Semper Energy? What, what do we have to expect? Or what, should, what should we be asking for to help the community build itself into something better? Semper has a goal to be a good corporate neighbor. Uh -huh. My opinion is that when you align those goals, um, we'll develop a community uh, awareness committee so that we know what's important to your community. Super. We like to focus on environmental and education. We, uh -huh. we, we think that the education is a future. Um, uh -huh. Roseman, you know, students would be the, would hopefully be future employees and uh, and so we like to focus on education and environment. So uh, anywhere you could align yourselves, that, that, uh, Semper is very proud to help. How is the general manager chosen for the Roseman plant and who might that be? Is there a name to that person yet? I don't have a name to that person. We have to get a little further along in development. The, the general manager of the Roseman plant will report to me. And, oh. uh, so I'll be involved in choosing that person. and. Uh, one of the criteria for our plant managers is that, that, that they get involved in the community. You're on the city council here, yes. elected by the people to represent them. Yes, indeed. And uh, could you give me a little glimpse as to what kind of a neighbor Sempra is? Sempra is are good people to work with. Uh, they communicate well. Um, I don't think that there's ever been a time when I have felt uh, that they were trying to pull the wool over us. You know, actually, uh, they became good neighbors prior to them even moving in. Uh -huh. So when they were still working with the city council, still trying to put some of their plans and things together, sure. they came to a lot of the smaller nonprofit organizations and said, look, how can we be helped? Uh -huh. We want to be a good neighbor, we want to be a part of your community, and so they did their research, they did their homework. Uh -huh. they connected them with a lot of the different nonprofits that were looking to do small projects. They put in a tortoise oasis at the local elementary school. Oh, they put hmm. in a scoreboard at the high school. They sure. put in a sound system for the city. 
Senior Center. Uh -huh. So they started with small little projects, and they have been able to reach such a broad network by having uh, the entire community be a part of what it is that they do down here. As we sit here today, there are a lot of people in the audience today and tens of thousands of others that work in the American Utility System. This is a system that serves over 300 million consumers every day for their basic gas and electricity needs. And even in our sister utilities in California, we serve 24 million consumers. I think the thing that, is, uh, that dominates our thought every day in the working environment is the American utility system is probably poised to face more change in the next 20 years than it has in the last 100. When I campaigned for governor, I had an opportunity to visit this facility last October and it wasn't completed yet. And it is such a, a great day to be here today to have an opportunity to see it in completion. It, we were in the main control room today and it is at full power. It is generating the 48 megawatts that we thought it was going to do. So I think that puts a big smile on all the SEMPRA uh, folks' faces. I, I want to congratulate SEMPRA for your investment here in the state of Nevada. Just a couple of things I wanted to point out with SEMPRA is they're a great community partner. They, uh, they spend a lot of time in our community. They donate to worthy causes in our community. And probably the most important thing for, from my perspective is they always, always deliver on their commitments. This facility is the fifth large-scale solar generating facility built in Nevada since 2007. In January of 2007, there were, there were no large-scale solar generating facilities in the state of Nevada. By the end of 2007, Nevada Solar One, Barrick Solar, and the Nella Solar Generating Facilities had all been built. These three solar generating facilities have a total generating capability of 79 megawatts in the summer months. In 2008, the El Dorado Energy Solar Facility added another 10 megawatts of generating capability. And today, the Copper Mountain Solar Generating Facility will add another 48 megawatts of solar generating capability to bring Nevada's total solar generating capability to 137 megawatts in the summer, in the summer months. SEMPRA utilizes a low carbon model. It includes renewable power, such as Copper Mountain Solar, but also clean natural gas, energy efficiency, and smart grid technologies. Over the next five years at SEMPRA Generation, the subsidiary that operates this facility, we expect to build another 1,000 megawatts of wind and solar in the United States, including new solar facilities in Nevada. Southern California Gas Company is another SEMPRA subsidiary. And, and the renewable efforts that we're doing in, at SEMPRA are not limited to just the electric side. For example, at Southern California Gas Company, the company I mentioned, which, by the way, is the largest gas distribution company in the nation, we're investing in green technologies like fuel cells, and we're also leading efforts to develop biogas solutions for our customers. As we think a combination of alternative energy and natural gas provides the greatest reliability for customers with the fewest impacts on the environment. More particularly, natural gas is the cleanest fossil fuel. Carbon emissions from a natural gas plant are less than half of the emissions from a coal plant. And there's also no abundant supply of natural gas, both domestically and abroad. <laughs> Well, Marilyn, what a great day for SEMPRA. Oh, it certainly is. I'm very happy to be here at the uh, Copper Mountain facility. And Will Roseman's facility looks somewhat similar to uh, this? Very similar to this. The panels, the rows of panels will be approximately the same height. They may be the same panels or different ones, slightly different ones. Sure, they sure. Be in rows. Joe, why did you choose Roseman way back? Well, Roseman is a great place to build a project from a number of perspectives. The, the uh, sunlight there is obviously very bright. It's, it's important to a solar project. Uh, there's land that's suitable. The uh -huh. land uses surrounding the area are compatible. So just all the factors over there, there's, there's a transmission interconnection available in the immediate vicinity. And, and the Roseman community is, is very uh, receptive to, to development that, that is compatible and friendly to, to the uh, to the area, and I think that this sort of project achieves that, and so it, it really fits hand in glove. The input we've received from the community has been very constructive. Uh, Kern County has been great to work with. Uh -huh. In fact, the initial phase of the project is already fully permitted with Kern County. Uh -huh. we, we look forward to expanding the project. Sure. Well, we have a great gal in Lorelei Oviat in the planning department. That yeah, yes, you do. Lorelei and the rest of her staff are great to work with, and uh, they're, they're part of the reason why it makes sense to develop. Oh,